Toby's Mega Train. Toby was delighted to take Percy's stone trucks down to the harbour. He thought it a wonderful treat. Percy could not understand why. It's only a harbour, he said. Nothing special. I like it, said Toby. It reminds me of the old days. I worked at a harbour on the other railway. I told you, remember? Because Toby had only a small water tank, he always had to refill it at the station by the river. What if we've run out of water halfway? Toby wondered anxiously. We shan't, said his driver confidently. But what if the water column breaks down? asked Toby. Thomas warned me about the water from that river. His driver laughed. Don't worry, Toby, he said. We shan't take you fishing. The harbour was busy and Toby worked hard. Not only did the stone trucks have to be taken down, but when they had been unloaded, they had to be sent back, often full of things brought in by the ships. One day, the stone trucks from the quarry didn't come. Toby waited in the yard. It's not like Mavis to be late, he said to himself. I hope she hasn't had an accident and met another lorry that forgot to look where it was going. At last the station master came over. Mavis wasn't well this morning, he said. She's better now and she's on her way. And indeed, it was not long before, with a cheerful toot, Mavis rumbled into the yard. Toby wasted no time in setting off himself. At the harbour, Toby found so many trucks waiting to go back that there was hardly room for what he had brought. Phew, whistled the driver. Forty-eight trucks and not all empty either. Some mega train. Two journeys, really, but we haven't time today. We could leave some and make two trips tomorrow. Can't we take them all now? asked Toby. The guard scratched his head and Toby's crew looked doubtful. We shall be all right, urged Toby, and so they agreed. But Toby had forgotten his small water tank. He had also forgotten that the journey was all uphill. He had to work hard and use so much steam that by the time they reached the station by the river, he had very little water left. His fireman put in the water pipe and turned the tap. Nothing happened. Oh dear, groaned Toby. Now what? You could make it on your own, said his driver. But not pulling this load. Then he winked at the fireman. Well, the driver went on, I do know somewhere. Is it far? asked Toby. The driver laughed. <laughs> not really, he said, and went to see the signalman, who told him where to leave the trucks. Toby pushed them carefully into a siding. Then he was uncoupled and they set off up the line. Where are we going to get water? he asked. You'll see, smiled his driver and stopped Toby right in the middle of the river bridge. Now, said the driver, where's my bucket? Oh, protested Toby, you promised. His driver and fireman laughed heartily. We're only pulling your wheels, Toby, they said at last. We'll go to the top station for water, then come back for the trucks. When Toby told Percy what had happened, Percy wanted to help. But his driver reminded him that he had a train of his own to run in a few minutes. Don't worry, said Toby. I'll follow you down and have those trucks back up here in a jiffy. And he did too.